So if you've already built your website using previous tutorials, there could be things installed on your website that conflict with this new website. And you should reset your WordPress. To reset WordPress, I'm just going to open up a website that I've already built that's half done. And again, you don't need to do this if you're starting fresh. You just need to do this if you've already started building a website and then now you're looking at this tutorial and are going to try to follow along with it. So to reset WordPress, just go to your dashboard and then click plugins and then click add new. Then search for reset and any of these would probably be fine. I'm just going to go with the advanced WordPress reset and click install now and then click activate. All right, once it's activated, click on tools and advanced WP reset. And to reset your WordPress, just type in reset and click on the reset database button. All right, that's going to log you out. So just log in and now you can visit your site and you can see it is reset. So now you don't have to worry about things conflicting with other tutorials. All right, so that's looking pretty good. We can minimize this and continue on with our tutorial.